Hey guys, today I am gonna talk about, you know, it might not be as easy and fun as it seems to work in TPG and those conditions. Yeah, you hear about your boss giving an employee new eyes. You hear about a boss giving an employee's friend a new liver or kidney. You hear about the boss giving the employee, employee, you know, and his wife or his uh, fiance or his girlfriend a job as a salesperson, even though that individual has no in uh, understanding of watches, uh, does not really know watches, does not really collect watches at the time, nor is that individual Liz at that time a particularly good salesperson. So you have a lot of, you know, these benefits and obviously the Corvette free rent you know, don't forget the free rent, right? Uh, and this might seem really nice. And he gave Brian, after working for a very short period of time, a free watch. I believe Liz got a free watch, a ceramic Rolex, I believe, or a ceramic GP, I forget. And everyone's getting free watches left and right. Everyone's getting free cars left and right. At some point in time, you know, then you have to ask, okay, why is that young kid or why did they lose two salespeople in the very beginning, including one of them that they were trying to pump up? And then why did they lose this other guy who had, you know, a baby? That's the only thing I really know. The guy with the baby, he wasn't, he's in a background of a lot of videos and his expression when Anthony is saying, oh, I feel so relieved that we are going to move out of the penthouse was like, what you, know, you could kind of tell he's like what did we get, i get myself into that type of work environment even though it sounds fun it sounds kind of oh this is going to be a great place for me and uh it can lead to a lot of stress you know when people are working very long hours people are working intensive shifts um it does create this tension i mean again if your best friend is your boss and you upset your boss via not business related, it's not like, oh, hey, you didn't sell enough watches this week, but hey, you know, I said something bad about you or I said something that you took very critically, then your job, your very job, your, your car, I mean, the Bryant guy, he was basically like a hostage almost, right? He lived with Anthony, he didn't have a car, and he had to spend every waking moment videoing the, the content. And it's like, it's like, is this real life? So some, I mean, if this really was, you know, and, and the boss was really that generous and so on, then we wouldn't see the two young kids in the sales leave. We wouldn't see this older guy with a baby leave. We wouldn't see so many people start jumping ship, right? Now, again, it might have to do with finances, they would probably know better than me, but the team right now, I mean, it used to be much bigger. They were going to expand, expand, expand. Uh, the team in Dallas is bigger than their team right now. And that and that's crazy because remember all these stories about people who wanted to work for them and work for them and work for them. And you know, when you hear the original Dallas stories about how many people apply for a job with them, you would think that, hey, it would be really easy to establish a larger team, maybe commission-based, heavily commission-based with a minimal salary. And that they would go sell watches. So he's not even, um, I mean, he's not the only one who has jumped ship, if you will. There are other, I mean, there was a, the guy in the beginning that they were, none of these people have any watch knowledge. Uh, maybe this the guy with the baby seems to have a watch, has better watch knowledge than um, normal, than especially the original salesperson uh, who was from LA. It's a very flashy lifestyle, it's a very flex lifestyle, but it's not for people who actually want to like live at their own home, own their own car. And that's probably the biggest problem in working for a place like that, in a place where you know, you have to be best friends and you do everything together. You get tattoos together, you get drunk together, you get, you know, you do business. It, it just is exhausting at some point in time. And the burnout rate has to be immense. I mean, I mean, I, you can see in their faces, they seem, in, they all seem incredibly burnt out. Like, hey, you know, I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I, how much more of this can you take? 
it's just hard to spend that much time with your boss. Um, you know, I, I just find that it's a very interesting dynamic that may or may not work out. It's not for everybody. In fact, I don't think it's for a lot of people. The grand caliber model where everyone you know, just gets 401k, everyone goes home at night, you know, everyone goes to their own bed at night and they have a life outside of grand caliber. That's the traditional model that we would look at and say, okay, so that makes sense. The current model, it's difficult. It's not easy to work in that type of environment where you're on pins and needles and your job, your livelihood, your car rental or car, whatever it is. Um, it looks good on camera, just like the $40,000 putt putt in, in Anthony's mind might have looked really good to put that on camera. But then in reality, it's like, why are we doing this? The employee makes $10 an hour. Should the employee really be making $40,000 putt putt gambles? Probably not. I mean, we know he lives in a small, small apartment. He's told us when he was drunk, he was making $10 an hour. This is not exactly somebody who should be making this type of wager ever. Anyway, especially with their boss of all people. Hi guys.